Hi everyone, thank you for joining me for another video on my channel. Uh, today for this video I just want to talk really quickly about some of the books that I have purchased recently that I'm going to be reading over the next month or so. So starting off at the top, I have An Ember in the Ashes, which is a young adult fantasy series. Now I've seen this book around for quite a bit. It's not too long ago that it was released, I believe in 2017. And I have seen nothing but rave reviews for it. I hear that it's a lot darker in tone versus your normal average uh, YA fantasy, so I'm definitely looking forward to tapping into that. Uh, this is one of the books I purchased during my so-called book ban, book buying ban, um, but I'm really looking forward to actually getting into this. <laughs> so yes, let me put this down before I lose it. Uh, the next book that I'm actually going to be reading uh, very soon is uh, Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe. So this has been a book that has been out for a while. I've been wanting to read this for so long, but for whatever reason, I just never found it in my library and just never took the time to purchase it beforehand. And I just happened to see it recently. And I said to myself, I am finally buying this and I'm finally reading it. This is another book as well that has been very highly reviewed. So I'm really looking forward to it as well. I have a feeling it's going to be heartbreaking, but uh, why not? I'm definitely going to get into it and I'm looking forward to loving it and enjoying it and giving it like five stars or whatever it is, whatever rating system the book bloggers use now. As well, I have purchased Truly Madly Royally, which is a contemporary, a really sweet uh, contemporary about a young girl meeting a potential royal. I think he's a prince. Um, it's giving me definitely the Princess Diaries kind of vibe, and I really like the author. Um, and I think I follow her on Twitter and she's pretty amazing. And I just love seeing young black girls in lighthearted contemporary novels. So I'm really looking forward to reading this. Next is Never Night. Uh, and I believe this is from Jay Kristoff, which is interesting because I just finished reading Aurora Rising from Jamie Kristoff and his writing partner. I'm forgetting her name at the moment. Is it Amy Kaufman, I believe? Yes. So I just finished reading Aurora Riza, Rising, which was fine. Um, definitely gave me Gar Guardians of the Galaxy vibes. But I've heard a lot of reviews on this one. Um, very interesting feedback. Uh, apparently the prose or the writing style of it is very flowery, very dark subject matter. I believe this is more of an adult fantasy, so and it's adult fantasy fiction. So I'm curious to see how dark in tone that it is, but I'm definitely interested in picking that up. Next, I have Red Queen. Yes. So this is a Victoria Aveyard book. Um, I've seen Red Queen around definitely in the YA um, fantasy sector for a bit. I don't know how I'm going to enjoy the story. I've heard um, interesting reviews, I guess, about it. But I do know that I absolutely love this uh, collector's edition. It is absolutely gorgeous. I love the illustration of the crown. There's some really beautiful illustrations in the book. And I love that it has these bright red uh, sprayed pages. So I'm looking forward to reading it. Um, I'm going to go into it with the best of intentions, but just the sheer beauty of the book alone makes it worth it for me. I love photographing this for my Instagram and doing, um, you know, like that whole beautiful theme type of photo. It's just, it's just beautiful to look at and it's just something that will look nice in my bookshelf. So that's why I picked that up, but I'm definitely going to dive into it. And last for my book haul is Arch Enemies. Uh, so this is not the first, uh, obviously, Marissa Myers book that I've read. I read the previous one, Renegades, which was definitely a superhero-like novel. And I'm someone that loves uh, the superhero comics, superhero movies. I was into like the superhero trading cards, definitely Marvel trading cards when I was younger in elementary school. So, you know, now as an adult seeing all like the Marvel movies blowing up, I, it's just really something to behold. And Renegades definitely gave me that 
flash back into that era when I was all about my comic books and all about superheroes and stuff like that. And I just liked it as um, the beginning of the series. I haven't read her Cinder series. Uh, I might look into that later on, but for right now, I'm definitely excited where things are going to go with Arch Enemies. And I believe Supernova, which is the third installment for this series, is coming out later this year. So hopefully I'll have read Arch Enemies in time for that. And that is it for uh, my book haul. It's a small book haul. It's not, it's not massive, but it's pretty respectable. Um, I definitely need to put myself on a book buying ban. I definitely need to get into the habit of borrowing my books more, but I'm just so impatient. But I'm privileged enough to have access to a library and a library that's within close distance. So I should definitely be utilizing that and taking advantage. But for now, this is my haul. So thank you for joining me and until the next video, bye.